there's just time for the finishing touches. The British royal wedding of Prince Harry and American actress Meghan Markle in Windsor Castle's St George's Chapel takes place Saturday. The Union Jack is flying high, the guest list is set, fans are getting into position and the wedding party filled with children has been officially announced. Along with the usual souvenirs, there's royal beer brewing and the happy couple are already cast in wax. And they look so lifelike. It's, it's like being next to Meghan and Harry. So, yeah, we're really delighted and excited for the wedding. There is even a little Hollywood glamour thrown onto the big day. Both of them are really changing the monarchy to making it more ready for today. And I'm just proud of them. I love the family very much. It's quite historic, you know, especially I know because of um, uh, Miss Markle's background and like who she is, her ethnicity and everything, and the fact that that's going to be marrying into the royal family. One question remains, what kind of wedding dress will Markle be wearing? Designers are speculating like mad. I mean, the whole world is going to look, you know, it's Markle, Sparkle, everybody's going to really want to see what she's wearing. I think she'll probably go for something a bit more glamorous than maybe traditional. Um, because she needs to sort of make her mark, I guess. The last time a British royal married an American divorcee, it cost King Edward VIII his throne when he abdicated to wed Wallace Simpson. Times have moved on, but the difference, of course, really is that Edward VIII was going to be king and head of the Church of England, and so that brings the whole thing heavily into focus. And Prince Harry is, is not going to be king. He'd be about sixth in line to the throne and as time goes on he will gradually go down the line. So it doesn't really matter to some extent who he marries. So come Saturday, if you're not joining the expected 100,000 visitors on the streets of Windsor to witness the wedding procession in person. It's a brilliant position because the carriage has got a turn here. So we'll get a good, a good view of the couple. It'll be amazing. You'll be joining millions around the world glued to their TVs. The royal nuptials are expected to draw more than 5,000 media staff and 79 television networks from around the world to Windsor. American and international television networks, with the notable exception of Russia, plan hours of live coverage. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.